Well, Title IX helped shape women's wide world of sports from high school through college and to the professionals. For women's sports, there isn't a more important piece of legislation. It was June 23, 1972, when a 37-word piece of legislation paved the way for women. It was called Title IX, an equality law that included the word activity, meaning men and women will have equal access to sports. That dollars shouldn't justify differences. Yes, progress is being made, but equality is not increasing in a significant way. Aces guard Kelsey Plum's mom played Division One volleyball, so she's heard the stories. You know, when she played, she was coached by the softball coach and the tennis coach like that it was one coach coaching three different teams and you know they didn't have a weight room uh, they shared obviously facilities with everyone they had very limited practice time according to usa today division one schools are spending 71 cents on the women while spending a dollar on the men so after all these years women are still being shortchanged, making progress however when it comes to title nine i look at and understand that i'm standing on the shoulders of giants that have laid the foundation down that have worked so hard to be able for me to compete at all three levels high school college and now pro wnba tv numbers are up the women's final four numbers are up more people are paying attention to women's sports because title nine is changing a culture my biggest thing is making sure that I can lay the foundation down and plant those seeds for the next generation because we know it's going to take time. To put Title IX in perspective, while the men are rounding third base, the women are just approaching first. If a school has 60% undergraduates who are women, they should get 60% athletic opportunity. But 87% of the 127 FBS schools aren't even close to complying. A lot of times we, we call it equal, but it's not equal. All right, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Well, the Raiders.